Hello, my YouTube family. I hope you all had a blessed day. The aim of this program is to make you aware of the types of contributions made by black people throughout our history. So many books have been written by the winners of wars depicting their stories. I think it is time for our story to be told. I encourage all of you to research for yourselves and learn the true history of our people. Teachers, you can use these videos to teach lessons in your black history class. Students, when you're thinking about doing a report for Black History Month, come to our channel, go through the library of videos, and pick one of the people that we highlight. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Let's get familiar. <laughs> In today's episode, we take a look at Gerald Jerry Lawson. If you've got fond memories of blowing into video game cartridges, you've got Gerald Jerry Lawson to thank. As the head of engineering and marketing for Fairchild Semiconductor's gaming outfit in the mid-70s, Lawson developed the first home gaming console that utilized interchangeable cartridges, the Fairchild Channel F. One with all the fun, the Fairchild Video Entertainment System at your larger JCPenney. The home entertainment system that never gets old. Plug in a new video card and change the fun. Play tic-tac-toe, shooting gallery, or just doodle. Switch video cards and play Desert Fox. Switch again, it's Blackjack. Or play the two built-in games, Pro Hockey or Tennis Champ. Channel F for fun, the Fairchild Video Entertainment System. Just $169.95. Video card cartridges, $19.95 each. At your larger JCPenney. That system was never as popular as Atari, Nintendo, and Sega, but it was a significant step forward for the entire gaming industry. Before this, games were programmed directly into the hardware. Changing cartridges was not a thing in those days. It's hard to deny Lawson's geek cred. He ran an amateur radio station out of his housing project after building a ham radio on his own, complete with an antenna hanging out of his window and a radio license. He also spent his teenage years repairing electronics all over the city. Most impressively, he taught himself most of what he knew about engineering. Born December 1, 1940 in Brooklyn, New York, Gerald Jerry Lawson was raised by his father and mother, Blanton Lawson and Manning Lawson in Queens, who were major influences in his eventual success. His mother even became PTA president in Jerry's grade school which was composed of 99% white students. Lawson attended Queens College and the City College of New York before working at several firms, including Grumman Electric and Federal Aircraft. After scoring a job with Kaiser Electronics, which focused on military technology, Lawson moved to Silicon Valley. In 2005, only 2% 2 of game developers were African American, according to a study by the International Game Developer Association, who also honored Lawson as a game pioneer a month before his death. On April 9, 2011, Jerry Lawson lost his battle to diabetes. Notable Accomplishments He was one of two black members of the Homebrew Computing Club, a group that famously included Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and other Silicon Valley pioneers. Lawson also had plenty of insightful advice for young black men and women who are interested in science and engineering careers. First of all, get them to consider technical careers in the first place. That's key. Even considering the thing, they need to understand that they're in a land by themselves. Don't look for your buddies to be helpful because they won't be. You've got to step away from the crowd 
and go do your own thing. You find the ground, cover it, it's brand new. You're on your own, you're an explorer. That's about what it's gonna be like. Explore new vistas, new avenues, new ways, not relying on everyone else's way to tell you which way to go and how to go and what you should be doing. The whole reason I did games was because people said, you can't do it. Next week, Monday, we will continue to spotlight contributions made by black people throughout history. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this valuable information with your loved ones. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new videos. Find The Awakening Frequency on Twitter and Instagram, and also Facebook. Again, researching is key. Always do your own research and never just listen to what people tell you. We are The Awakening Frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.